Hey everyone, right now it's 8 p.m. and I just wanted to say this really quick that these past couple of days I've been extremely busy trying to push out this video, recording everything, gathering all the clips together, synchronizing the audio. It's been a ride, but I had a lot of fun. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. Also, I want to thank you guys so much about my last video. You guys showed so much support, 30, 40,000 views over the past three or four days. That is huge. Seriously, I love you guys so much. You guys deserve it. Also, big thumbs up from me. Black Friday and Christmas is right around the corner. So if you're thinking about buying a Quest 2, be sure to visit the link down below in the description. I would very much appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I'll see you later. Peace. Wait, does this guy know who I am? Do, do you know who I am? You, 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 I think this guy knows who I am, actually. <laughs> the way I was going, like... <laughs> Hello and welcome to my Oculus Quest 2 unboxing and first impressions video. I'm going to be looking and using the Quest 2 for the first time and give you my first impressions so you can decide whether or not if this headset is meant for you. Before moving on to the rest of this video, I just want to thank Oculus for sponsoring me and giving me a Quest 2 so that I can make this video for you guys. Taking a look at the front cover of the Quest 2, I'm not going to lie, it looks pretty nice. Although the Quest 2 looks kind of odd. If they were to use the same font as the Oculus that you see up here and center it more, I feel like it would look better. On top of the cover, you can see the huge oculus logo and it tells you what's inside the box there is a vr headset two touch controllers two AA batteries power adapter glasses spacer and charging cable all right behind the box you can see that there are a few games showcased here but in this video specifically we're going to be taking a look mainly at beat saber all right you're not going to believe this but the quest 2 claims it's next level hardware a blazing fast processor and ultra realistic graphics puts you in the center of the action it's easy to set up open the box and jump right into vr no pc consoles wires or external sensors needed and it's backwards compatible blast slash and spin your way through the oculus quest content library how cool is that all right now let's take off the sleeve here oh that was so easy oh my god i can't believe it <laughs> it's the quest 2 look how awesome that looks all right let's take a closer look at the quest 2 you can see that there's a controller here wow it's actually a lot lighter than i thought you can see the headset and you can see the other controller right here. I can't believe it, boys. It's because of you. I was able to get a Quest 2 directly from Oculus themselves. I'm incredibly happy. Seriously, I love you guys so much. Huge hearts towards you. I couldn't have done this without you. Let's move on to the controllers here. Oh, these are really light. Oh, that's going to be beneficial for Beat Saber. I like that a lot. All right, we have the headset itself. Wow, this is really small. We got the glasses spacer here. If you ever want to use, if you ever wear glasses, you can use that. All right, I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can tell that I haven't even used it at all because the stickers are still on place. Let's uh, peel that off really quick here. I'll, I'll put it close to the mic so you guys can hear. How does that sound? Okay, this is really light. I like this a lot. Put on my head really quick. I have to crouch down here so you can actually see my face. Uh, just by putting it on for the first time, it doesn't feel that bad but I'm not sure how it's going to feel after playing Beat Saber for like two hours, but we're gonna find out. I forgot to mention that the head strap is actually adjustable, so you can adjust it to wherever you feel comfortable with. All right, it looks like we have the charging cable right here. I'm pretty sure you're gonna to wanna to use this to charge your Oculus Quest 2 so that you can actually use it. Okay, how long is the cable? Let's find out. Eh, it's not as long as you think, but it's long enough. Okay, is there anything else inside this box? Let's find out. No, that's actually it. That is actually the entire box. Look, I'm putting it upside down because nothing else is coming out. All right, now I have to set up the Quest 2 and I'll let you know how the installation process goes for me. All right, I'm going through the installation process of the Quest 2 and it's pretty simple. You have your standard press your button, select your language, and a couple of short videos presented to you. It's a good thing I have the controller strapped down to my wrist. So the next step here, it says I have to download the Oculus mobile app so I compare the headset to the app. All right, it took me a little while to link the headset to the Oculus app on my phone because I was required to log into Facebook and I haven't logged into Facebook in forever, so I forgot my password. But once I recognized my password, I was able to link both the headset and the Oculus app together very easily. Okay, I'm setting up the play area and it's pretty cool because I get to actually draw out the entire play space area. All right, we are now playing Beat Saber on the Quest 2. I'm going to check out Solo first before I hop into online because I want to get a feel of these controllers. Let's see. I know a lot of people's favorite song is Fitz Beats because it is a workout. I'm going to put on Expert first so I can kind of get a warm up here. You will see in a second why this level is a workout. Okay, so far so good. Everyone step to the left. You have to actually move left and right a lot. And not only that, this song makes you crouch a lot. So you're gonna be doing a lot of squats. All that McDonald's that you ate last night, 
is going to go away. Oh. I'm feeling the burn now. Step to the left. Everyone step to the right. Now to the left. Now to the right. Now to the left. Everyone step to the left. Everyone step to the right. Everyone step to the left. Now to the left. Oh, I missed my full combo. That's an F. Now to the right. Left, right. I should also mention, before you play Beat Saber, please check your surroundings. You don't want to accidentally hit something or bump into something when you're playing a song like this. The power of the Plus 2 makes it so you don't need wires. You don't have to deal with them. So you can move left and right all you want without worrying about tripping over some wires. You know what I mean? That's the end of the song. Okay, we did it. Not a full combo, but that's okay. We only missed one note. All right, let's hop into a multiplayer match now so I can go up against other opponents. Oh, by the way, on the quest, you can customize your avatar, and after you submit your avatar, in order to change it, you have to go into your settings, go to avatar, and from here, you can customize your avatar once again. Quick play, music packs built in. You can select all if you own all the DLC packs for Beat Saber on the quest, but I don't own any, so I'm sticking with built in. Difficulty, you can choose from easy, normal, hard, expert, or expert plus. I like to warm up with the expert first before I hop into expert plus, so let's do that. Join, and we just found a lobby that fast. It took literally one second. Hey, Sharky, did you get your wish? I got my wish, and that's for me to get a quest too. Thank you very much. Mr. Boyo and Simon, what up, you guys? What up, what up, what up? Country Rounds, it's OST Volume 1, I believe. Yep, here we go. This song is really good. It's one of the very first Beat Saber songs that was introduced when the game came out. Ready, set, go! Here we go. Right. I've been playing Beat Saber ever since the game came out, and this song is giving me memories. It brings me back at a time when I was playing Beat Saber for the first time. The resolution is fantastic. Keep in mind, I'm playing Beat Saber multiplayer, where the game has to render multiple characters, multiple blocks, multiple sabers, all at once, right? And I'm recording. I don't even feel a performance hit. That is absolutely insane. I get a full combo here. No, I cursed myself. I'm telling you, it's real. If you decide to get a VR headset and you play Beat Saber, don't jinx yourself. Don't ever jinx yourself. Even though I missed one note, I'm still in first place. Am I going to keep my first place? I think so. Woo! 
We did it. 444,000. Hey, I'm number one, baby. Let's go. I like how when you get first place, you're showing up on the big screen so you can, you know, move your head, you can move your hands around. It's like, it's like a little bit of a flex here. That was pretty good. Let's do an Expert Plus this time. Let's see, what song can we do for Expert Plus? Uh, let's do the classic $100 bills. $100 bills. Can we get that? Can we get that to happen? It looks like we're gonna make that happen. Three people voted for $100 bills, which equals to $300. Which is the same price of this Quest 2. Isn't that crazy? It's a sign. Set. Everyone should know $100 bills. It's like Beat Saber's national anthem. Crossing my arms. Which, by the way, is pretty difficult if you're playing VTuber for the first time. $100 bills. I think I've missed like two notes so far. Oh, three now. <laughs> I, every time I keep mentioning about me missing, I somehow miss. I'm not even kidding when I say this, but I'm probably making a lot of weird faces when I play Beat Saber. Just don't look at my face. Look at the gameplay. <laughs> I got first place. All right, it was nice playing with y'all, but it's my time to head off. I love you guys very much. Big hearts to you, Solos. Big hearts to you, Boss and Fade. I love you guys very much. Peace out, everyone. Bye. Now it's time to answer some questions about the Quest 2. Keep in mind, I've never owned an Oculus product before, so I'm going to be answering these questions as if it's your first time buying a VR system or you're thinking about buying yourself the Quest 2. What do you think of VR gaming and the VR experience in general, Mr. Dutes? I think VR gaming and the experience in general is definitely something everyone should check out. VR has gotten bigger and better over the past couple of years. Two or three years ago, there were headsets that costed about $600, $700, $800. They were very expensive. And we have Oculus over here busting out a $300 headset. It's wireless, works straight out of the box, and the performance is phenomenal. I am surprised how they even managed to package everything into one little tiny headset. Does the ease of setup and no wires make it more appealing? Oh, definitely. Since the Quest 2 is wireless, you don't need any cables. You don't need a $10,000 PC setup, which makes it perfect on bringing the Quest 2 over to a friend's house. If you have any kind of family parties going on, you can bring the Quest 2 to the party. Or if you're just a college student that's bored, you can just boot up your Quest 2 and bam, you're in VR. How does gaming in VR compare to gaming via console? Okay, let me tell you this right now because I wanna be the person that helps you by offering great advice and I want you to have a good VR experience. If 
you're thinking about buying a VR console, don't. You are limited to what you can do with a VR console. If you already own one, if you can, return it and buy yourself a Quest 2. It's a huge upgrade and I guarantee you, you will not regret it. Trust me when I say this, but there have been people that told me that they moved from console VR over to the Quest and they are very, very happy about it. Would you recommend VR and or the Quest 2 to your audience? If you don't mind logging onto Facebook on your Oculus Quest 2 device, then yes, I would recommend that you go out and pick yourself up the Quest 2. It is fairly cheap, it's $300, not including tax. Also, there are additional accessories that you can purchase, such as the Oculus Link Cable, which is about like $60, $70, and that allows you to connect your Quest 2 to your computer and you can play games through your computer, which is amazing. And also, they offer the Elite Strap, which probably costs about $50. I'm not quite sure on the price on that, but the Elite Strap makes it so that you can replace the traditional strap to have a more comfortable VR experience. The Quest 2 has decent tracking, built-in speakers. It's not the best speakers in the world, but everyone around the room can hear exactly what you're playing. The resolution is fantastic, and the performance is pretty much perfect and it's lightweight as well. My only critique that I have for this headset would be the comfortability. And what I mean by that is after playing Beat Saber for a little bit over an hour or so, I've noticed that my ears started to hurt a little bit. I'm not sure if it's because I had the straps on too tight or maybe I didn't adjust it correctly, but that's my only complaint here. So if you have any kind of plans of playing Beat Saber for three hours or longer for whatever reason, it would be a good idea to take breaks in between just so you aren't hurting your head. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. It really helps out by pushing this video into the YouTube algorithms. This is the first time I've ever done any kind of unboxing slash first impressions video. So let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And also at the very end, write the words virtual reality just so I know that you made it to the end of this video. I love you very much. Thanks for watching. And until then, I'll see you next time. All right, peace out. Bye.